In this world of technology, things are ever changing, rearranging. You need someone to help you out. I know someone who can. Come and take a journey with me as we go through the land of technology. You'll never be alone. You'll be with Paul Amadeus Lane in the tech zone. Welcome back to the tech zone, Paul Amadeus Lane. We're taking a look at our NAM experience and our NAM visit that we had in Anaheim, California. Biggest show out there when it comes to music, technology, industry. If you missed my interview with uh, the president of Yamaha Corporation here in America, talking about what Yamaha did at NAM, check out the, the segment, the podcast. That's why you have to stay tuned to what I do on social media, too, because I release some, some pretty cool stuff on social media. And my next guest, I shared uh, a moment with uh, one of his presenters on Twitter, on the Twitter and the Instagram. So make sure you check that out. What if I told you that you can now make an acoustic guitar digital, make it smart? What if I told you that exists? Well, some of the skeptics out there, you may say, well, it probably will mess up the sound and everything and it won't be, it won't be good anymore. Have no fear, mon frere. Had a chance to chat with the co-founder of High Five, Adrian Mamo Mani. I probably messed up his name, but Adrian is an awesome guy. Check out his story and this awesome, awesome piece of innovation, the smart guitar by High Five. And so Adrian, uh, welcome to NAM. How you doing? I'm great, you know, it's crazy here. So huge, all these fascinating brands, so I'm very happy. What I like about NAM, how it brings a lot of people together from around the world. Yeah. Uh, being from France, uh, here, coming to California. Tell me how your California experience is going. Uh, you know, for French people, California, it's, it's a dream, you know, because especially in the guitar world, everything comes from the US and especially California. So for us, we still have this reference for culturally, the American people and American market is uh, extremely important for us uh, to understand and to, to feel the vibes here. Too, yeah. and, and talk about just your love for music and what made you to create this piece of technology that, that goes on and acoustic guitar. Yeah, actually, I'm a researcher in the physics of musical instruments. So I started 15 years ago on that field. And uh, so I used to do equations to understand how musical instruments work. And what I wanted to do is to do something that could help instrument makers, help the musicians to express more, more creativity, and to give to musical instruments something cool again uh, in this brand new world with digital things. We know that a lot of kids now, they prefer uh, playing with their smartphone instead of playing a real instrument. And uh, as an acoustician for me, it's very bad because uh, if you look at a guitar or a violin, the sound produced is so uh, precise, so rich. The radiation in the air is so different than a normal speaker. So I really want to give to uh, the people who love the digital world all the richness of the real acoustic world and all this uh, uh, richness uh, we know when we play an acoustic instrument. So I wanted to bridge these two worlds. And uh, I had a team at uh, uh, IRCAM in Paris. IRCAM is the largest research center dedicated to both uh, musical expression and science. And uh, we are lucky in Paris, we have this big center. And I was working with my team on what I called smart instruments, or you can say augmented instruments, which are the best of the two worlds. So real acoustic instruments and also all the digital tools that you can have directly with your acoustic uh, instruments. Uh, I started that in 2010 and after a few years uh, we saw a lot of traction coming from composers, musicians, for every kind of music they wanted to have that so that's why I created this high vibe company 
in 2017 with two friends of mine and uh, we are so happy we started this collaboration with the lag guitar company which is a very well known uh, guitar company especially in france the leader in france and uh, at the same time, Lag uh, asked uh, Maurice Dupont, who is one of the best friend, uh, French luthiers uh, today, to help them uh, uh, doing these new models and new guitars. So it was, uh, you know, great moment, uh, great momentum. Last year, we met these guys and we wanted to help them adding these devices in their uh, guitars, this augment uh, augmentation of the guitar stuffs, and. Um, we started this collaboration six months ago and we share the same vision. We really feel that these smart guitars will become the new category uh, after the acoustic uh, guitars, acoustic electric guitars. Now we have the guitar of the 21st century. Yeah. What I love about it is we have smartphones, we have smart watches, now we have smart guitars. Yeah. And, and I had no idea that even a music researcher exists and you studied this and learned about all this, this is incredible. And when it comes to taking something traditional as an acoustic guitar, how much thought did you have to go into the process of making sure it stood true to the value of the sound and that same warmthness? Talk about, was that kind of tricky or was it easy to do once you did your research? Yeah, so I started in 2010 with something that you could call a, a gimmick, you know. So uh, we had all these uh, smartphone apps and I used this actuator that excites uh, plates or excites area. And so I plugged that into a guitar and I said, OK, that's cool. But the sound was terrible. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, I have chosen because at this time I could have said, OK, I do this gimmick. I want to do something cool. But then I said, OK, I'm a researcher. I know the value of an acoustic instrument. I don't want to do a gimmick. So I, I had the chance to have uh, money from the French government to create a team at IRCAM about these smart instruments. Uh, and my background is about mechanical engineering and vibration. So I tried to use uh, what I learned from my field and all the papers I did with my PhD students and with interns uh, about the vibrations of system and how to control the vibrations to apply that to sound design and uh, expressiveness, new, new uh, musical expression. So it was really uh, uh, hybridizing between mechanical engineering and all this uh, area of science and a musical expression. So, and that's how it started in 2010, 2011. We made a lot of papers in the acoustic journals, for instance, uh, the best journal in acoustics in the uh, American Journal of the, uh, the Journal of American Association of Acoustics. So we published a lot on that. We went to a lot of conferences. So it was really scientific stuff. Uh, but, uh, you know, when you, you 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 can't give your journal papers to musicians saying look that's great what i do so in parallel we made prototypes and prototypes always always trying to test with musicians we had the top uh, musicians in the uh, modern classic music uh, who created uh, new uh, pieces of music you know uh, that have been played everywhere in the world and i realized at this time that there was a real need in the musical world to have uh, something uh, that you know this is it looks like a guitar but actually no it's so it's a brand new world of possibility uh, you can uh, 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 how could I say that? You know, we have all these myths in uh, in music, like Stradivarius, like uh, guitars, you know, it's wow. But as an acoustician, I felt like, okay, I will kill the myth now, and I, we want, we, uh, I want to do something that will help the musicians. Not having a myth like an instrument, because a lot of people, they don't manage to continue learning that, because, as I said earlier, all the digital tools that we have today. So I really wanted to kill the myth and to have great sound, uh, great guitars, but also all these new features. I don't know if I uh, answer well to your question, but that's a long story and I'd love to speak about it. Oh no, you answered it and then some, and I really appreciate you opening up to me about it. As a matter of fact, we can take a look at back uh, uh, one, of the, one of the guitars right now, correct? Yeah. We take, let's take a look at one of them right now, if you don't mind. So, it looks like a normal guitar here, but we did this glass guitar just for you to understand 
what is the core technology. So if you look inside, you see that we have piezo sensors. So you see this cable. It's the very normal acoustic electric sensors. We wanted to have something obvious for everyone to use it on a normal acoustic electric guitar. But you see also these two eyes kind of uh, around that are two actuators. So I spoke about that earlier. These two actuators are really like a, a speaker uh, motor, a speaker engine without the membrane. So imagine you just take the magnet and the voice coil. So this stuff, you can find them in the market uh, today. Uh, but we try to find the best design we could get by putting that to excite at the bridge because the bridge is the perfect place to uh, excite the body of the guitar. That's why the luthiers may put the bridge to have the transduction between the strings and the body of the guitar. So that's why we put the actuators, light actuators, at the bridge too, to respect the luthier, the luthier of the guitar. And the core technology is what you have in between. Because in this box, you have maybe the fastest sound card in the world today. Because we want to control the vibration, we needed a very, very low latency system. We couldn't just wait a bit and then send the signal back. We, are, we want to tune the vibration. So we have just a few uh, dozens. We have about 20 microseconds of latency in this box. So it's not milliseconds, it's really microseconds. So like all these industrial applications that we applied to, to uh, this specific application. Uh, and uh, so you have a feedback loop between the sensor the very fast signal processing there and the signal that uh, is sent back to uh, the S actuators and the goal is to really tune the acoustical properties to have something that is still acoustic but also digital too one thing i like about it too is that it has a a metro a metro metronome yeah you know for, for players who are just starting out has yeah. an eq you can loop some things yeah. so does this mean i can put like a drum loop on there too or how does that work um, yeah, so... Not uh, yet, right? Uh, yeah. um, no, what you could do, uh, it, it's a Bluetooth speaker. So if you have your backing tracks, your drums and everything, you can just connect there your smartphone and send this signal into uh, the guitar and use uh, all the backing tracks directly. You feel the backing tracks and you have, I hope that uh, you will feel that you have a great sound too. So uh, you will see that with Joaquin. Um, you have your loops like the guitar loop, so you can record yourself. We have eight gigabytes of memory inside that, so you can record a lot of loops inside if you want. And you also have all your effects because we really wanted to have something. Oh, I have an idea. I want to test, uh, I want to play like Jimi Hendrix. I don't want to take my uh, electric guitar to buy the amp, to buy the specific uh, uh, distortion pedal. I can do that just with one finger. I click and it's done. Really like, the, as we know that with the digital tools now, we really wanted to have something simple to be the, like the Twitter of the uh, acoustic instrument. It's simple, it's fast, and it sounds great. That's the most important thing. We wanted to have both. So Adrian, you're telling me that I can take an acoustic guitar with the right preset that the smart guitar has, and I can have a, a, an effect like Jimi Hendrix? I can't play like him, but... <laughs> uh, I, I think so. Yeah. Dimitri, do you... Uh, Dimitri, uh, Joachim, sorry. Do you play uh, Jimi Hendrix uh, no, things? Uh, say that. Yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> we will try to prove that. <laughs> wow, so we're gonna get a first-hand demo of this and we're gonna check it out all right when we get back we're gonna get a demonstration of this awesome smart guitar we're gonna be joined by joe kim lafonk and i believe i kept calling him draw kim but it's draw kim <laughs> lafonk you're gonna be joining me coming up after my next break and we're gonna jam out and rock out don't want to miss that coming up here on the tech zone I'll be right back in this world of technology, things are ever changing, rearranging. You need someone to help you out. I know someone who can. Come and take a journey with me as we go through the land of technology. You'll never be alone. You'll be with Paul. I'm a dead slain in the tech zone. 